Hello, welcome to another edition of The Verdict. It's another beautiful day in the life of the world, but I'm worried. You wonder why I'm worried? Well, I'm worried because if we don't take care, we might be heading for another uh, lockdown in, in this country. Hmm. The thought of it gives me chills. I'm afraid that there may be a second wave of COVID-19 in Nigeria. Uh, if you have been following the report from the, uh, the NCDC, uh, you would have known that we have ra rising cases of uh, COVID-19 now. Well, we thought that uh, we were getting to the time we would say or scream or shout, Huhuru! But yeah, we, we thought about that. We, we, we thought of that because uh, things seem to be getting better in the country. Uh, you, you recall that uh, the authorities were even closing down isolation centers because things were getting better. But it seems that uh, things are now changing. Uh, well, Nigeria will not be, if Nigeria go, uh, has a, a sec, uh, experienced a second wave of, of COVID-19, it, it won't be the first country. Currently, the UK is experiencing uh, the second wave of COVID-19. France is actually also experiencing the same. But my worry, my worry is that Nigerians are no longer, are no longer adhering or they no longer care about uh, uh, safety protocols needed to uh, shield them, or, uh, to shield them from contracting uh, this dreaded uh, pandemic. People are no longer wearing face masks. Uh, Social guard people are still going for their, uh, they are not going for O oh, and there, you know, in churches, uh, people, are, people don't seem to be paying attention to the use of face masks, the use of, uh, uh, use of sanitizers, uh, in buses, in public places. Uh, you recall, now when the, when the NSAS uh, protest uh, went on and the, uh, the, the riots that, that followed, I, 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 was, I was thinking that, well, this will actually lead to more people, could lead to more people rather, could lead to more people contracting uh, COVID-19. Already, it seems that it's happening. But the, pro the question is, if we have a second wave of COVID-19 in Nigeria, as uh, it is being fed, can we afford another lockdown? Remember what happened during uh, the, the months of lockdown that we had? People lost their jobs. I, I mean, people in the middle class became poor. Some people lost their jobs. Those who didn't lose their jobs, some of them had their, their salaries, monthly salaries slashed. Uh, it, it, it was actually a bad time. I, I can't remember uh, people reaching out to me, they say, uh, personally, say, oh, please help me. I'm broke, you know, I don't have money. I don't have this, I don't have that. And you see, it's because, it, it, that happened because people uh, actually uh, were having uh, financial downtime. Can we afford that? Because we are not careful. Most people are not careful anymore. People still shake hands, people hug, uh, no social distancing, and then nobody cares. The Christmas is coming. The Christmas is actually a time that people uh, get together, you know, have fun. Are, are we going to do all of this? Are people going to do all of this during the season? What will be the consequence? What will be the impact on the economy? What will be the impact on our lives? If we should go for lockdown, can we survive it? Well, the verdict is yours to deliver. But as for me, I'm signing out. See you some other time.